I do have one uh, more surprise. I do have one more surprise. Maybe this is more of a confession. This is not quite a surprise. This is more of a confession. So I, Tegra K1 is probably the most ambitious project uh, that we have ever worked on. Uh, it is the culmination of many years of work in the GPU industry, taking the same architecture that is the heart of GeForce, the soul of Tesla, the same architecture that runs and powers the nation, our nation and the world's supercomputers, and to bring it into a mobile form factor so that we can revolutionize mobile computing. The two very important areas that we wanted to revolutionize was bringing next generation games to mobile form factors. It could be a mobile uh, device like a phone, it could be a tablet, it could be a game console that utilizes mobile technology. The second area was automotive. We believe that such a supercomputing technology in, inside your car could help revolutionize the car and can make possible next generation cars to come more quickly. And so I told the guys, look, you know, Tegra K1 is impossibly advanced. It's impossibly advanced. It's like out of this world. It's practically built by aliens. And the engineers have worked so hard on this for so many years. I want you guys to go out and launch this product and put a marketing campaign behind it that is of equal, that rivals the technical contributions. I want you guys to go do something that when we sit back, we'll have global reach. And people will think that, my God, everybody knows about it. And by the way, you have no marketing budget. <laughs> and so ladies and gentlemen, it is true. The NVIDIA marketing team is behind this phenomenon. What you're looking at here, <clears throat> what you're looking at here is 310 feet in diameter. It is what people call a crop circle. Um, it is a, this is a field of barley. I told them no animals can be harmed in the spectacle. No money should be wasted. And the em environment should not be damaged. A global launch, something of the magnitude of Tegra K1, and of course, no budget and no one can be harmed. It's an impossible task. And what they came up with was this crop circle. Now this is a field of barley. It turns out the barley is between cash crops and it'll just be plowed over. So there's no, no, no food was harmed. And because barley is pretty inexpensive, no money was wasted. Now what was interesting is this. <clears throat> this is in a small town south of Salinas in California. And um, I, when I learned about it, I saw it on CNN. I saw on headline news CNN. People thought aliens had done this. And, and um, I, the, the, the coverage has been fantastic. Canada to the south, Brazil and Mexico, all the way to the west, Thailand and China, and to the east, UK, of course, where all the crop circles start, aliens go to. And the coverage has been fantastic. The coverage has been fantastic. These are a couple of our favorites. Uh, somebody wanted to throw a New Year's party. If you could read that, it says, Crop Circle in Chular, California. Chular, California, by the way, has 1,100 citizens. They have since been visited by fleets of helicopters from news stations. Hundreds of people have pulled off the side of the road to take a look at this 
astronomic phenomenon. And this one's fantastic. It says, um, guys, they're, they're going to have a party on New Year's Eve. Guys are $20. Ladies get in for free. And um, uh, drinks are special, DJ dance floor, and something called Bongzilla. <clears throat> And so, so uh, this is on that guy's website. Uh, the one on the right is really fantastic. I really love this. Uh, she's, a, she's a reporter and she decoded it. She looked at this and she, she figured it out. She figured out that in fact it's Braille. She figured out that, she, that that is Braille. And she's reporting this on the news. That this, this, this uh, phenomenon is in fact in Braille and the code that she broke, it's 192. 192 repeated, 192 repeated. Well, of course, it's 192 because the marketing team was very clever, ha ha. Tegra K1, 192 cores. And this, this uh, reporter um, uh, should be given an award. Uh, she, she could be a cryptologist and uh, she discovered that this is um, 192. She thought it was actually a, an internet address. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, fantastic job from, from the marketing team. So you have, you have the heart of GeForce, you have the soul of Tesla, and you have the spirit of NVIDIA marketing at work. So give those guys a round of applause. <clears throat> and there you have it. This is our announcement today. We, we talked about three things, games, chips, and cars as we continue to advance the visual computing revolution. The first part about games, we talked about game stream, that it's making possible extending the PC experience. We talked about G-Sync, this revolutionary new monitor that makes it possible for you to enjoy computer graphics in a non-stutter without lag. We talked about Tegra K1, the heart of GeForce, the soul of Tesla the world's first 192 core super chip. Comes in two versions, 32-bit quad core, 64-bit dual Denver. Look forward to telling you more about Denver in the coming months. And then we talked about Tegra K1 VCM, a vehicle computing module, putting a supercomputer in your car. Your car is going to be one of the areas, one of the computing platforms that's going to go through dramatic revolution over the next several years. Really, really exciting change, led by some of the world's best engineers. Some of them are, are right here in the audience today. You're going to have a supercomputer in your car. It's going to make it possible for your car to eventually lead to semi-autonomous driving. And also, we believe that computer graphics shouldn't and at industrial design, it should extend all the way into your real-time digital infotainment systems and digital clusters. I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Have a happy new year and have a great CES. Thank you.